Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use Active Directory, Microsoft PKI, Group Policies, and Centrify to uh, get auto-enrollment for certificates uh, on your Unix, Linux, and Mac systems. As a little background, uh, you know, auto-enrollment is a really cool capability enabled by Microsoft in uh, Active Directory and Active Directory clients. And the whole idea is that uh, certificate trust and certificate provisioning can be handled using group policy. So you don't have to deal with uh, the, you know, worry about the issuance uh, or expiration of certificates because that group policy is going to take care of that. So, uh, you know, the way it works is very simple. You know, you would set up the proper templates, the proper trust, and basically an auto enrollment policy. In here, what I'm showing you is this Windows machine has a certificate store. I've actually deleted the certificates. And uh, typically what happens as part of a GPO refresh is, you know, something called uh, a, a refreshing of, uh, of uh, using cert util, right? So when you use that command, basically what it goes, it, you know, based on the policy, is gonna go and refresh the certificates. And as you can see here, I got two certificates based on, on the policy, right? So those certificates could be used for different purposes, right? Uh, they can also be used uh, for, for users as well. Uh, but this capability on Centrified systems is actually available. So as you know, Centrified provides uh, the best Active Directory integration uh, with for non-Windows platforms. So um, as you can see here, I've actually initiated a session uh, using SSO, and I'm using uh, you know uh, Centrify. So if I do an AD info uh, minus V, it's, this is the version I'm, that I'm running, and this is a CentOS 7 machine. So as you can see, I'm actually connected and joined to a domain. Uh, all I need to do is very simple, oh, and actually I close my session here. Um, all I need to do is uh, you know go to the right place. And uh, you know, issue the right the, the proper command. So um, you know, automatically, uh, when a uh, machine uh, jo it joins the domain, is actually going to get the certificate. So if I go to the uh, var, um, it's actually under var centrify uh, net cert. So in here, I, you'll see that I have all the certificates, right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove everything here. Uh, so do the same thing I did on the on the Windows machine, and and there's nothing now, right? Uh, all I need to do uh, is I can do, issue an ADGP update command, uh, just like uh, Windows. You have GP update, right? Uh, we have the same thing uh, with Centrify ADGP update, and what that's going to do is going to give me back all the trust chains, right? So when I uh, when the command ends. In this case, no user um, policy has been enabled because it's just a server. On a Mac, you would have also user policy being refreshed. So uh, what you see is I got all the trust changed, right? The next thing I need to do is get the actual certificates. Uh, this would happen automatically for you, but I'm showing you manually. Uh, what you can do is use the AD cert tool, and that's under user, uh, USR, share, centrify DC. And that's under as been and um, AD cert um, pretty cool tool. We can I can have it have it use the computer account to authenticate and get the certificates that way. And guess what? I got my certificates and the certificates are typically called auto and the name the name of the um, of the template that you use. So you get a certificate, a chain and a key. Right. At this point, if you want to use an application for them, it's very simple. I'm going to use my Apache server. I'm going to use Internet Explorer because it's much simpler. I do have, uh, uh, um, you know, I, I do have the trust uh, chain is already here. Notice that if I at, want to access with HTTPS and I go there, notice that, I, you know, I have the nasty error, right? Because it's not issued. If I look at the certificate, it's going to be issued to, um, you know, uh, you know, the, uh, there's no trust on it, right? So what we need to do at this point is um, basically configure um, Apache to look at the certificates that Centrify got. Uh, and that's very simple. All you need to do is, is edit the, um, uh, the proper file. And in this case, it's going to be the SSL.com file on, under the HTTPD config folder. And I already had, had done this. I um, basically commented out some things. So if we look at, uh, uh, you know, here I have the key. So I'm pointing to the right place now. And here I'm going to just comment this. This is the defaults. 
And if I go back here, I have the actual certificate. And I'm going to comment this one and uh, on comment this one here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and save it. I can I can restart the service, um, you know, by using the CCTL command. Um, so this is going to restart my service. And now if I go ahead and refresh uh, my Internet Explorer here, what you'll see is that now I have a very clean one. If I look at the certificate, this is actual the certificate issued by the CA that is trusted by this machine, right? So if you look at, um, you know, this is the proper certificate that we need and not a self-signed cert. So if I look now at, at the certificate store, uh, the trust chain is there. I have a, you know, I trust my root CA right here, um, right? And uh, this certificate was issued by that CA, so that was, that's, that's why it's clean. Uh, there's a lot of uses for certificates. Uh, you can save money by not having to have a, you know, a publicly public uh, certificates or, an, you know, you can actually also have many other uses like, uh, for example, smart card or, you know, encryption, TLS encryption for the LDAP proxy. And I'll add some videos about this and I hope this tip actually helped.